What's going on everybody? Um, in today's video, I kind of just want to show you how to build your guns out for Modern Warfare 3 when it comes to playing on mouse and keyboard. As you guys know, uh, True Gaming Data came out with a video and there's a lot of things that are uh, up against us when it comes to uh, playing on mouse and keyboard and just making it feel awful on this input. But I just want to show you here one of the, I guess you could say, meta uh, guns real quick. And this is like what everybody is pretty much running if you're playing pubs. Uh, you could switch them attaches out here and there. But I'm going to go to the firing range. I'm just going to show you real quick. Like trying to use this gun, like it just doesn't feel good. Like look how much sway you get. And look at that. Our bullet doesn't even go in the center. Like... Look how quickly it goes at the reticle just deviates from the center of the screen, right? So even though you're going to try to be accurate, I'm going to try to line the center dot up. Like, look at that. Look at my reticle. Like, it's going all over the place, and it's going to be really hard to, like, beam somebody off of a head glitch. Not to mention that, like, the recoil is not too bad. We don't really have a problem controlling recoil on mouse and keyboard. Um... So it doesn't matter for us too much. It goes up and to the left. But when it comes to that first shot accuracy, that's what we really care about. And just being off that far, even if like the center of my screen right here, boom, look how far it goes off. Even close, dude. Like, look how much the reticle moves. So now I'm going to show you a class setup that I've made, okay? And that uh, is for mouse and keyboard. And I, I just want to show you guys real quick. And then I'm going to run through the methodology of like, how I did this and uh, pretty much what happened. So don't pay attention to the site. The site really doesn't matter, but boom. See how that reticle doesn't move. There's still a little bit of bullet deviation, but look how tight it is compared to that's pretty close compared to this. That, that That's really close. Now let's go to the dummy. Pretty close. Very little deviation. Let's do this one. Very little deviation. Now let's go all the way back to the far one. Very little deviation. And this is what matters most. Like, there's very little deviation. The sway is way less, and it's going to make it easier and feel a lot better when you're trying to uh, shoot. And uh, this is the recoil. Pretty much the same recoil pattern. And to control that recoil, nice tight spray. So let's go through, and let me tell you how I built this, okay? Um... Pretty much what you want to do, this this sight right here is godly, by the way, aiming stability. You want to kind of max out aiming stability. And you don't want to put anything on that hurts your aiming stability, pretty much. Um, so, like, right here, aiming idle sway, that's not good. It, it, actually, crazy. Uh, tax brand, uh, aiming idle sway, crazy. Gun kick control, recoil control, I mean, we, we have that, that's fine. But this one, aiming idle sway, really good. Laser, um, there's a, this, uh, the Bruin Heavy support grip is also pretty good for aiming idle sway and firing aim stability. Uh, pretty good right there. And then right here, aiming idle sway, flinch resistance. And nothing on my gun is impacting aiming idle sway. So when you're going through, and I'm gonna go and I'm going to build, let's just say, uh, let's pick a gun um, that requires us to be super accurate. Uh, so the MCW, everybody's running the MCW, and we're literally just going to build this out for mouse and keyboard. So the site really doesn't matter. Use a site of your uh, preference. Uh, I really like this site because it's just a clear site picture. And then so we go here and we're looking at our um, stocks and we have not too many aiming idle sway, firing aim stability. This one's really good. Um, and there's no... Uh, really heavy um negatives on it and then for the magazine i'm gonna put the 40 round mag on just because i like running around with a 40 round mag and now we, we have two choices i'm gonna put the laser on here because that is going to provide aiming idle uh aiming stability which 
not bad. Uh, the other lasers, th there's nothing on here that really stands out. Like right here, aiming idle sway. This one actually might be better. Flashlight visible to enemies. Um, but you guys see it gives us crazy amounts of aiming idle stability. So we're actually going to put that on. And then for we got two uh, two choices here. If we want to run a suppressor, we can, or we could run uh, this muzzle flash concealment. Or we can go to a rear grip and let's see, we got this one aiming idle sway, flinch resistance, uh, firing aim stability, but look how much it hurts at aiming idle sway. So we don't want to put that on. And then for the under barrels, we could put on the brew and heavy to help out with our aiming idle sway. Uh, but I don't think this one really needs uh, the brew and heavy grip. But basically, all we're going to do is it's up to you. You can put a uh, rear grip on. Um, and you could actually put this one on in sprint to fire speed and outside speed gun kick control flinch resistance that really hurts us but again remember we really don't care all we're looking for is something that has the uh aiming idle sway on it and um so we also could put a barrel on um to help out with the bullet velocity aiming idle sway and firing aim stability that looks really good right there and so um, let me go to the firing range, okay? And let's look at our aiming idle uh, stability. It moves very little, man. Very little. Let me shoot a couple bullets here, see how tight it is. Okay, left and right a little bit, but that's still pretty tight. It's way better than this one. Now, let's look on the dummy. Barely moves, man. Let's go to this dummy. Barely moves. Very little deviation there. Now, let's go over here to this one. Kind of close. Little bit of deviation you guys could see. But overall, not too bad. Now, let's look at the recoil right here. So we have an initial bounce jump to the left and right, but pretty much all we got to do is pull straight down. Pretty tight spread. So it's not too bad. Um, I think that this is how you're going to want to build your weapons. Um, let's go back and let's see if we can build another one. I'm going to actually save this one. And this is the one I'm actually going to run in multiplayer. Um, let's save custom mod and call it KBAM. So now let's go to like an SMG. Let's just make an SMG real quick. Um, and we're, we're going to use... Uh, let's just use the Rival 9, okay? Um, we're going to start out with the base. We're going to go to the firing range. And we're going to see exactly how much this gun actually moves around with the ADS on this iron sights. Now look at all that sway, man. Just wow. Look how much that's moving. You guys could really see it on this site. It's moving crazy. It's swaying crazy. So now we're going to go and we're going to build something on this gun. Now SMGs are a little bit different. There's a couple of things that I want. Of course, I want a little bit bigger magazine, okay? On the barrel, I want something that improves our bullet range without hurting our aiming idle uh, uh, sway. So aiming idle sway is here, bullet velocity range, got that, okay, cool. We could put that on or we cannot run a barrel. We can run this one. It hurts our aiming idle sway a little bit, but I think this barrel is gonna be the best. And then we're gonna go to the grips and see what we have. Uh, we have aiming idle sway right here. Now remember, this is gonna be up close and that flashlight right here, aiming idle stability, a sprint to fire speed, and then it's just as this is a flashlight, that's okay. Um, let's see if we have anything. Aiming idle stability, aim down side speed, sprint to fire speed, laser, visible, and ADS. So what I'm actually going to do here is look for one that doesn't have a, a crazy, um, like this one right here, aiming idle stability. Okay, we got aiming idle stability. Now we got one more option. SMG, since you're up close, I'm not gonna run a sight. I'm just gonna look for something that helps out with the gun kick control, aiming idle, and we got some firing stability here too. 
So I think I'm actually going to run this um, and we're going to test it out. So let me go here, put this on. And remember how it looked the first time that we were playing this, uh, how much it deviated. Let's see. Barely moves, man. Barely moves. Still has a really good ADS. Oh yeah. Let's look at far range. Look at that. Does not move. Hardly moves. So this is what you're going to be running to do when you're trying to make your classes. And this is like basically a fine balance of Amy Idol Sway and uh, how you're actually going to build out your class. So let me see here. Let's look at the recoil. Recoil bounces up into the so it does like a curve. Okay, so it comes up and then around. So I want to pull down and around like that. So when I'm controlling this, it's just down and around. Kind of crazy, but still. If you guys are playing this game and going up close, a range that you're not actually going to be using this gun at, you're going to be trying to close in the gap, it works out really good. Even medium ranges, not bad. I can still hit long range shots. So um, let me actually customize. We got to put a plate on just so that actual. So yeah, this is as, this is how you actually built the weapons out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, you want to max out aiming idle sway. and You don't want anything on that hurts your aiming idle sway. That's pretty much what you want to do. Like even with like um, his gun kick control hurts out our aiming idle sway. So say like if we didn't want to run a barrel, right? And we wanted to run something up close and to help out with our uh, recoil just a little bit more. We can actually put on an under barrel here that helps out with that. Um, and you just want to go through testing out, find what's better for you. Um, and remember, you don't want anything that has uh, the aiming idle, uh, negative to aiming idle sway, right? Uh, because that's just going to hurt you out a lot more. So we can put this on and let's just see how this is right here. Let's go to the firing range, Oop. firing range. And see how this actually is. Doesn't move, doesn't move. Kind of kicks all over the place. So I don't like it that much. I'm going to take that off and see if I can put something on that helps out with our gun kick control. Um, let's see. All these hurt our aiming idle sway. So we could actually put on recoil control. So let's try this one real quick. Go to the firing range and let's see what happens. Moves a little bit more, but not too bad. Still a freaking laser. Can control it pretty easily on mouse and keyboard. Not too bad. So yeah, this is how you build your classes, guys. I hope this helps you out. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I did a video like this similar in Modern Warfare 2, but this seems like this game is just exaggerated from the point of origin of your center of your screen, deviation from your uh, actual optic and what you're seeing. So I hope this helps. Always, guys, remember, stay blessed, stay humble. And uh, another thing that I, I want to also tell you that uh, when you're also doing this, this helps out because in... Um, True Gaming Data's video, he was also talking about when you strafe left and right, it deviates from the center of your screen. And as you guys can see, my crosshair is not, de not deviated from the center of my screen hardly at all. I could still go and right when I see that crosshair hit the enemy, it's pretty close. Pretty close. Still, bullet's still going where uh, I'm shooting. Whereas if I was using the other gun, 
um the the one that has these that you're pretty much your standard class setup for this weapon um and you go into the firing range you guys are going to see something absolutely crazy so different sight remember and, and you know for simplicity's sake i'm actually going to switch the sight just so you guys can see here um how much it actually moves around so right here you guys can see it's moving around the same and when I'm walking, look at that bounce and look how much it moves. See that? See how much you're the up and down and I mean, you could still probably hit. It might be a little bit more difficult, but like, look how far that's just as you're going around. Like, look at that. Look at my crosshair, especially when I crouch. You guys could see. Like, that's actually crazy. So go back to my class and we're, we're just going to go back to the K-BAM one, go to the firing range and then let's see how it is. See, it does not move nearly as much, man. And then when you crouch, look at that. It moves a little bit, nowhere near as much as the other one. It's still staying in the center of the screen. There's less bounce like, yeah, aiming stability basically uh what you want aiming stability as always guys remember to stay busted humble and i'll catch you in another video peace